we're sitting in the cab and he's counting the money and the meter gets to, I forget what the number was, and my dad tells the cab driver, stop. And we're like, what's going on? Mm. And my dad goes, hey, listen, we're in a new country. I want you to enjoy the scenery. So we get out, we grab all the luggage. Mm. Excuse me, I get real emotional. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> mm. And we're walking down the street. Mm. Mm. That's awesome, brother. <laughs> you got it. We're walking down the street with his luggage and he's showing us a different scenery and so forth. Never knew he didn't have any more money in his pocket. And it's moments like that that define you yeah. as long as you remember. They can define you both ways. Yeah. You can look at it and say, you know what? You can use that as an excuse. My dad came to this country, he didn't have any money, he never gave me anything, he never did this, and people do that. Yeah. Or you can look at it and say, he gave us everything. Everyone has a dark side. Everybody has a dark side, all right? We've all been through something, all right? And it's how you handle that situation determines what kind of individual you're going to, you're going to become. Successful individuals, are, yeah. it doesn't happen by accident. Right. It doesn't, you listen, there's a lot of talented people that succeed at nothing. Too many of you and too many people in society fall back on the word luck, not knowing the circumstances of someone else's success. You see big things, you hear big things, you see people who do big things, and you automatically say, wow, that guy's so lucky. Wow, she's so lucky. Wow, that that's so lucky that that happened. When you say, oh, that guy got lucky, and you're telling yourself subconsciously that you believe that you are not in control of your circumstances. And guess what, if that's what you believe, you aren't. Luck cannot be in there. Because this is a universal term last I looked. Shit called good luck. There's dumb luck. I mean, who, there's bad luck. You can't have, he's out. Everyone's like, oh, Craig, you're lucky. You got the cover. You got this, Craig, you're lucky. Everything you do is luck. Bullshit. Because before it was luck, it was a belief. And every day with no one watching at five in the morning by myself, I trained it because I believed in it. Then I mastered it. No, I remastered it and remastered it in hopes that one day my trained ability collided with an opportunity to show it off. That's what luck is. That's what success is. Start to finish a blueprint that every single module inside of it you create, you own. Nothing subjective in there. It's all you. You weren't pointing out how lucky he was when he couldn't pay his bills. You weren't pointing out how lucky he was when he got evicted from his house trying to build this business. How about when he made less than what you made for the first 15 years holding on to his dream? You weren't there saying he was lucky. Or how about when he's working at 2 a.m.? Or how about when he's working on weekends and holidays when you're out celebrating with your family? Where were you? You weren't saying he's lucky. I'm up here because I failed. I continue to fail. I love failure. The willpower, the belief, the confidence. And just like you go to the gym and you lift your muscles, right? You have to exhaust them to grow them. Perishable, use it or lose it. Your confidence must be the same way. It must be tested every single day. Safety, comfort zones are dead zones.